feel like I should decrease the number of up thrusters are in the maneuvering section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know the large industrial cargo containers that have ridiculous size? We okay. filled three and a half of those with ice. Nice. I've just been moving them so that I can see what we even have. It's kind of like a matching game, and then... Uh, okay, we have artificial gravity. Nice. Yay. I'm going to go outside real quick and uh, do a few things. Don't die. small forward thrusters we don't interesting well I want to slap some of those a, on. Uh, slight design flaw eh, that's an easy easily fixable one in fact we have the stuff on board to do it <clears throat> My sound effects are completely borked for some reason. Bork. Alright, you want to help come out here and help me uh, build a few things onto this? Uh, yeah, what are we building? Uh, near the back, I'm adding, um... What's weird is that it's just these sound effects. Um, actually, can you get in a, uh, cryo... T well... Eh, there's no point in restarting. We're nearly we're nearly done here. With what? The game. <laughs> yeah. For tonight. I am just yeah. In other words, there's no point in me just restarting just for the sake of fixing okay. my sound problems. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm adding one there. Where else could I add one? Or do we need more than? One. I don't know. I mean, more than two forward thrusters. You know, probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have more reverse thrusters than we would have forward thrusters. Um, to be fair, that m might be a good thing. <laughs> we have one thousand nine hundred and twenty motors. Yeah, well, actually, I could just. Uh, well, no, that, that wouldn't look very good. Um, We're flying a giant dump truck into space, and you're worrying about aesthetics. I spent a long time on the aesthetics of this thing. <laughs> ah! Okay. But yeah, uh, just help me build the blocks I'm trying to build. Okay, and so first... Your... Ah, uh, and steel plates. First, I gotta find the medical bay. I can fill up all my tanks and stuff. Do right, I get lost in here? Oh, there it is. Why can't I fill my hydrogen bottle? there yeah okay why can't I put the hydrogen generator oh, there yeah goes there we the... go okay there goes that steel plate <laughs> and the hydrogen ball 
So so it's, we, um, we need that steel plate is going for going for reentry. <laughs> okay, so we need a bunch of steel plates or what's what's the component you're building? Um, I'm building a couple conveyor junctions and conveyor junction. Okay, and then I need steel. I thought I just. <laughs> and then I'll just get a ton of steel plates on top of that. There we go. Okay, now I go into the build planner and say I want this. There. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now I need this. Oh. Okay, why not? C. Maybe because we don't have any. Yeah, I've, I've had, like, music on this whole time, so I didn't notice that my sound effects were borked until just now. <laughs> until, like, until a little bit ago. Oh dear. What? Right, I should have emptied my inventory. Well, those. <laughs> I keep dropping components back to the planet below. Uh... That is hilarious. Because I felt my inventory was stuff to place stuff. Yeah. And then I found I needed to remove a few things as well. So when I went to remove a few things. Yeah, as your, well, your inventory um... was full. Yeah. Now it isn't. Okay. But yeah, uh, whoever's down on the planet, if there's anyone down below, they might end up getting hit with a steel plate going Mach 1. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> or a large steel tube. <laughs> I dropped a bit too many things down. Because we're technically still in a small amount of gravity here. 0 0.06. Okay. Welding stuff. Yeah. So you see these, uh, yeah, those things. Weld them up. Oh, well. I need more interior plates, which we don't have. What do you mean we don't have interior plates? Uh. Oh, well, that one's done. Okay. Also, ignore those thrusters. Oh, the hydrogen thrusters? Yeah. You don't care about making those. Well, I am grinding them down so that I can identify them in the, uh, in the control panels. Yeah, we need nine Because I'm setting them up for a different group. These are going to be part of the heavy lift thrusters category group, so... I, and the only re, the only effective way to tell where things are, um, like what blocks are what, um, in a control panel is often by just grinding them down so that they end up highlighting themselves as red. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just grinding these down just below their uh, their functionality point so that they so that I can find we'll leave you alone. Yeah. yeah. Uh. And also try not to get burned by them at the same time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So they all need interior plates that I didn't have. Time to ask the system for a bunch of them. Yeah, okay, so when I turn off what uh okay, when I turn off my four, inertial four dampeners I do start falling and it is kind of funny to see. Yeah, we're in a very small gravity field right now. Okay, so <clears throat> three on each side, four forward or four backwards, four up, and um Okay, there's Frank isn't falling right now, that's good. <laughs> Frank isn't falling. Okay, and I'm gonna put four on the back. Okay. I just need these four conveyor junctions. Really? Interior plates. Well, I guess we'll queue up the assemblers to make a few. Because we have plenty. We have the entire green base's worth of supplies on here. So we can yes, make them. Yes, we do. So I just queued up a hundred of them. <laughs> the interior plate? Yeah. I, I think you'll be good on those. Okay. 
Now I need to make more of these guys. Two more interior. Yeah, because I want to regroup the other ones. Okay, let's see. So, rosters. Okay. Maneuvering these guys. Remove from maneuvering. Save. These guys are removed from maneuvering. Or add it to the head. Save. Okay. Are you producing interior plates? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Enough for everything. I don't need to build any more of it. My energy's low. That's fine. He says as he, like, dies of energy loss. Die of freezing. Oof. Cause my, when your suit's power goes out while well, your you're life toast. support systems go offline. Alright, fine, sound. I'll go over and get in the front seat real quick. Okay. We have 5,835 regular steel plates. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I mean, my my audio is just completely messed up right now. But uh, we're just gonna get this thing to the base. Yeah, and, and then, then we call can deal it. with the rest of it. We're gonna finish the maneuvering thrusters, get this thing over to the base, and then we'll just call it. This thing afterwards because it's like made a number of modifications to this now that are yep. uh, useful modifications. All right. Steel plate. <laughs> oh, look, that we're fine. Steel. All right. You want to help me build these? Uh, build these last things back here. Uh, yes. Now that we have. Um, wait. Uh, yes. So, we need a bunch of interior plates. Yep. Well, why don't I see them on this list? Is it called interior plate? Yeah. Why don't I see it then? Oh, it's in the production tab, isn't it? Yeah. Or do, do you have... Yeah, so when interior. I type in interior, it's not in there. Oh, that's because I have them. Okay, well, just give me a couple. As long as we know where they are. Hey, look at that! 58 of them. That should be good. You're all queue up 200 of them. Well, how many do we actually need? Because that... Lots I had all the components, the rest of the components for the... Assemblers... There's two assemblers on this thing. Yeah. You want to build more? I thought there were more assemblers on this thing. I guess not. Um, well, it doesn't matter. Um, this thing wasn't really... I mean, we added assemblers and refineries as basically just so you could Auxiliary use them in a pinch. stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Turn clock. 
Ah, whatever. Yeah, the, the interior plate seems to be the hang-up for all these. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start getting the stuff needed to finish this thing off. Well, actually, get first thrusters. These will be added. that go? I don't need all of those, really. <laughs> okay. Let's start with this, because otherwise I'll be fiddling with the controls forever. Okay. Boop. Boop. And boop. How's... Uh... How's it going? No, how's how's your gas? What do you mean gas? Like how's your hydrogen percentage? My hydrogen percentage is personally fine. What about the ship? Since we're floating under slight gravity. Yeah. Um I will check, but I mean we're using only four small hydrogen thrusters versus like eight large ones. Okay. So we should be fine. Yeah, we're at thirty two percent. We're in very low gravity right now, so we're good. <sighs> Motor, really? Okay. So you don't want me to weld the hydrogen thrusters? No, you can weld them now. Weld oh, everything. Well? Well, well, well. I'm gonna go get myself re- um, Powered. Hey, one of the conveyor junctions is a hundred now. Hundred percent. Meh. Wow, we went through construction components really fast. Okay, so so I need to build four of these uh, hydrogen thrusters. Cool. Oh, I'm they all are powered up. Um I feel like we could probably um, find a place somewhere around here to attach, like, um, a little uh, embedded piston thingy. Yeah. Uh, just for, as kind of like an anchoring boot. So that when it uh, tries to mine an asteroid, you can just extend this thing down and anchor it in place. Yeah. But we can do that another time. Really irritating how you can't move any of the stuff from your seat. Okay. I think I know where I could put them. Yeah, we can put like two of them. Why can't I move them? Why can't I move things to my flight seat? Because your flight seat literally doesn't have a connector port on it. Oh. Great. So I can move things around, but I can't move things nope. to them. Okay. You can't move things to your flight seat because it literally cannot connect to the grid. Even if you put it on top of a, a connector port, it wouldn't It work. just doesn't happen. Yep. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> okay, one of the uh, forward maneuvering thrusters is online. Alright, another 
one is online. One of the uh, bear things is online. Well, weirdly, this thruster doesn't. Here's a bunch of interior plates. And then... Hey, you're online. Yes. Oh, I now am. they're both online. They just looked like they weren't. Okay, I got the two forward ones online. Four forward ones. I'm coming. Oh, you mean you finished their construction? Yeah, no, I just need some steel well, plates to finish uh, well, a few other things. Goofing around for nothing. <laughs> Because it took me way too long to find all the components for this. You've been learning. section doesn't look too bad now with these extra added maneuvering thrusters. All right, now it is uh, fully ready to fly on over to the base. Oh cool, I should get back inside. Yep, <laughs> that would be recommended. I highly recommend not being stranded in space. Oh seriously? What? Okay, here we go. I just didn't get in. Yeah. Sitting there like... Okay, I need to dump my inventory off. Me too. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's like my sounds are triggering for like half a second. And then just disappearing. All right. Uh, are you in any position to start having things move? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll I'm, be fine. I'm moving my inventory stuff. Okay, we are now slowly ascending. Okay, turning on main lift thrusters. In three, two, one. Blam. Just to get us moving a bit. <laughs> yep. Heavy lift thrusters. Yep. All the group categories look fine now. <sighs> this thing is not going to move fast, but that's also partially by design. <laughs> right. Because you don't want something this heavy moving quickly. <laughs> its maneuvering thrusters are made to help it, well, maneuver slowly. <laughs> Yep. If you want it to move faster, then just fire up the main lift thrusters or the forward boosters. Which you want to move it very quick in a certain direction. <laughs> that is funky. So how are we going to attach it to stuff? <laughs> Why do you keep asking that? You know the answer. Well, you're going to have to build something for it. That's That's going to be a pain in the butt. Why is something smoking? I see smoke trailing from something. Oh, it's <laughs> it's trailing from the utility vehicles. It's funny. Also, why are there why are there pieces of metal inside of our cryo chambers now? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. 
because I, I just moved them all into one spot so I could keep track of them. You know, move everything into the big storage tanks so we don't have a bunch of derpy little... But now it's all messed up, and you didn't even touch it. What happened there? Hey, I mean, grass center, are we lined up? I'm turning off nurse dampeners and firing forward boosters. straight line. <clears throat> okay, rotating around for um, long distance, uh, slowing Moving. down. And our word's spinning. If you want to move fast, you're going to have to use the large thrusters. I think we'll be fine. But if you want to maneuver into place, then you use yeah. the small put this thing on a trajectory that will not that will put it through the asteroids instead of at the asteroids. Okay. You're commencing deceleration. And there's the base. Yay! You're bigger than this base. <laughs> Hope you know that. <laughs> Let's go park on top of it. Oh, I, I'm sure Nick will like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, turning off main lift thrusters and forward boosters. Now we're just using maneuvering thrusters. See if I can move the sun so we actually see what's going on here. There we go. So if we leave now, is it gonna just have us float away? What do you mean? Like, you were talking about how if your if your movement speed is close to zero, it might drift away. Something like that. Um, that was a, a, an old bug I was talking about, I think. Okay, so you can park close to it, and it won't. Yeah. I think I, that bug was referring to an old bug that happened on planets. Yeah, these maneuvering thrusters are working great. Like, it's right. making this thing move nice and controlled. Well, as controlled as you can get for, you know, a giant dump truck in space. Oh, it's pretty controlled. So there's zero, zero, zero gravity here. Yep. Cool. You're officially out of gravity. In fact, it usually cuts off at around, uh, uh, like... 0 0.5, I think. And then you just don't see yeah, zero, it. 0. 0. 0.05. 0. Yeah. And then it just goes to 0. Which point there's basically no gravity. And we don't have to care about it. 
I'm trying to park this thing perfectly on top. <laughs> <laughs> You, the you, the width of your wheel wells is like bigger than that. It's not quite actually. Here we go. Wow, <laughs> it's parked. Put your parking brake on. <laughs> the parking brake is on. Beautiful. All right. I think I turned off the external platform sensors so they won't be accidentally triggered. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My helmet wasn't on. <laughs> I went outside. Whoops. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Just look at this. <laughs> Take a screenshot <laughs> of that, too. Yeah. That's another thumbnail for this video. Just perfectly parked on top. I double parked in space. <laughs> it looks like it's just perfectly resting on top of this tiny building, on top of this raw cage he made. <laughs> this cage specifically designed to prevent vehicles from crashing into the vital components. <laughs> I just parked it on top. Well, hey, it proves it's not crashing, right? Yeah. Oh, I can't hear music at all. No. Uh, no, it's just music of a very intense area of Prime 3. Listen to Metroid music. Might have messed up my audio of this setup, but... I mean, what I have it doing is actually... Because <clears throat> I don't want this music getting into the recording, I'm having it basically in a roundabout way getting into my headset. Yeah. That isn't going through the channels that it's getting recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Just start drilling. <laughs> Look at this. You can just picture just, <laughs> just drill into the base. Yeah, we're gonna need to like come up with some kind of underslung boot. Like it just to be put down just to lock every just to lock the vehicle in place as it's excavating. Zero G. <laughs> Now, luckily, like I said, I have an idea for where to put them. Or put, yeah, one of them. And it's right up here. You see this? Yeah. Right in there, just down into there. Just put the piston there, put a magnetic leg on top, and then just extend it. And it should be within range of the actually seeing the underslung camera, so you should, you should be able to see if it locks on. Even though it's on the literal opposite side of the vehicle. <laughs> but with that, yeah, you just extend that down, lock it, and uh, ta-da! Then you're ta locked in place as you go mining away. <sighs> and there we go, we got the utility ships back up, back into space as well. Nice. Everyone is back up in space. Alright, now uh, you should probably grab a cryo chamber. And get out of here. Yep. <laughs> oh. Make like a tree and get out of here. This is such a silly phrase, but I, I love it every time you hear it. Um. I might as well grab a cryo as well. I mean, I don't need to, but it's fun. It's fun. Just grab the shower. I don't think you can do that. Oh, there I can go, go and sit on the toilet seat. Is Does that count as saving your spot? You're in a seat. <laughs> uh, well, I think I've moved all of your crap into only a few full of those giant cargo containers. Nice. So that I can at least see what's even going on here. Because we have a bunch of small ones, and then it's, like, really hard. To... Yeah. Yeah. If if Everything I... Everything in here is fully pressurized. Yeah. If I cared, I would put all of the ice in... 
adjacent cargo containers. Yep. And I also don't think I ever actually tested they... this thing out of atmosphere. Yeah. In well... terms of like pressurization. Uh, but yeah, it's fully pressurized on the interior, except for the rear part where the uh, refineries are. Well, can you just pump more air into that? Um, the you problem is to? there's holes. Oh. Well, how do you how do you fix that? Uh, we tried <laughs> to fix it, and I couldn't fix it. I'm pretty good at um, getting Diagnosing places airtight, problems. and I couldn't fix it. <laughs> There's just some kind of stupid error. I thought we had more than two assemblers. Oh, this is an auction generator, that's why. <laughs> Ah, so we put okay. I put a we put a whole bunch of O2 generators instead of um, uh, assemblers on board. That makes sense. This thing needs more O2 generators than than uh, than uh, yeah than assemblers anyway. But yeah. Ta da! You've now seen the tumbler. Yay! How's that uh, entrance for you? <laughs> for the tumbler. That was really something. Just like the first time I saw your aircraft carrier. Oh, yeah. You're on wheels. I mean, we built it. We all built it together. Yeah. But once it really started get, started moving. Yeah. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. Something the size of the aircraft carrier takes off into the sky like it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. If I don't stop, I'm going to end up wandering around here for ages. All right. I am in a cryo chamber. Me too. Actually, I should get out and put on my helmet and then get in. And listen to the rhythmic taps of the sound effects failing to play properly. <laughs> in space. Glitches in space. Problems in space. <laughs> and there we go. They couldn't stick with us for a bit. Well, at least they made it on for a little bit. Yeah. And now they'll all get to be in space. Yeah, now everyone's in space. Yeah.